I don't care too much for money because money can't buy me love. Your loving gives me a thrill, but your loving don't pay my bills. Now, give me money. Two very different takes on love and money from the same band, the Beatles. Michelle Walton is a couples communication scholar, and she's here to tell us who's right, Paul McCartney or John Lennon. Michelle, it's good to see you again. Well, thanks for having me. Well, today's love lesson, Len uh, Danny, is about money and marriage. There we go. I basically was, um, I had the opportunity to officiate a wedding uh, a few weekends ago, and basically they were a couple, first marriage for both, in their late 30s, early 40s, financially established. And they were talking about, okay, who's going to put who's on whose insurance and putting both of our names on the house deed. It's like, you know, now couples are, they're new newlyweds in the sense where they're financially stable, they are marrying later in life, and they're diverse. So they're, they're same gendered in some states where it's legal. So my question is, how are couples merging their money when they are financially thriving. Ah, how does that work? Well, basically... I always thought the other would be more interesting when they're both broke. <laughs> When they're both oh. loaded, too, I guess that can be interesting well, as well. Well, no, this is the new newlyweds, and here's the answer. It's called the postnup. Ah, the postnup. The postnup is the new prenup. It happens after the wedding, but any time during the marriage. A University of Wisconsin law review said that the postnup is going to dominate nuptial relations in the near future. Hmm. Basically, what they do is they create a financial plan for when things happen down the line, like a windfall, like winning the lottery, or an oh. inheritance, or say if... Um, one spouse has to take off for work to care for the other or um, for a stay-at-home mom or dad. Hmm. So there it is. So is this like a budget for marriage or is this just you are going to do this and you have written it down and if no. you don't, we go to court, but we're still married. Right. A post-nup <laughs> post acts in the same way that a prenup does, but it just happens. It can occur any time during the marriage. Hmm. Basically, they're very positive. They help to dispel marital fantasy because as, you know, as many of us know, when you're newlyweds, you can't imagine ever having any trouble. Right. And that's what they do. Chloe and Lamar, Odom Kardashian are now having trouble. They had a post-nup right after they got married. Hmm. Um, Wendy and Rupert Murdoch, they used their post-nup as split-up insurance because now they're about to get a divorce. So they had a post-nup after each of their daughters was born so that they would have an agreement should anything happen. But most what a post-nup can do is save marriages because mm. what it does is it takes the finances out of the argument right. so that couples can then focus on their relationship. Now, a, a lot of people say, I would never sign a prenup if you love me. You wouldn't want me to sign a prenup. Right. Do, do the same sort of sentimentalities apply to the post-nup? Well, but you know, the post-nup happens 5, 10, 15 years down the line. Oh. So circumstances and events change, mm. as do marriages. So that's what a post-nup does. But here's my recommendation for how to handle these situations. Right. Just to remember the marriage vow, V-O-W. V, vet or appraise whatever your financial intentions are going to be as the marriage goes along because things do change. Right. O, own up to whatever your contribution is that doesn't have a dollar value. So mm -hmm. say if you're a caregiver or you're a stay-at-home parent, mm -hmm. that needs to be addressed. And finally, W, when you manage the money, you can focus on your honey. V-O-W, <laughs> <marriage vow. laughs> Manage the money and focus on your honey. There it is. I don't think Lennon or McCartney could have said it better. Michelle, thanks so much for being with us <laughs> Thank today. you. Thanks for having me. Michelle's on Twitter. Just do the Twitter thing at MWLoveLessons. <laughs>